There's one caveat to connection requests. They require that the CPE can be reached by the ACS over HTTP. For endpoints that may reside behind a gateway, this is not the case thanks to network address translation or firewall rules. To get around this, Tier 69 Annex K defines a way to perform connection requests over XMPP. To enable the XMPP connection request feature on the CPE, the ACS first configures a new XMPP.connection object in the CPE's XMPP interface object. This connection is then set as a reference in the connection request's XMPP connection parameter in the management server object of the device's data model. The ACS can also set the list of allowed Jabber IDs in the connection request allow Jabber ID parameter. The from ID that the ACS uses in its XMPP messages must match one of these Jabber IDs in order to be accepted by the CPE. Of course, if the CPE is already set up with a known XMPP server for connection requests, this step can be omitted. The ACS establishes, or has established, a connection to an XMPP server and establishes a secure XML stream. The CPE establishes a connection with this XMPP server and establishes a secure XML stream, and gets its Jabber ID from the server. The CPE lists this Jabber ID in the connection request Jabber ID parameter, and must ensure it matches the Jabber ID parameter in the XMPP.connection object. This parameter defaults to active notification, so the ACS can learn it in a different session or request it with get parameter values. From this point forward, the ACS can use XMPP to chat with the CPE and send an XMPP connection request to the CPE. This XMPP connection request consists of an XMPP IQ stanza containing elements for the connection request username and connection request password assigned to the CPE. Once set, the CPE confirms the request with an empty XMPP IQ stanza. Once successful, the CPE then begins a CWMP session with the ACS currently assigned in the management server.url parameter. CWMP then continues as normal. If there's a problem, or the CPE is handling excessive requests similar to those described in HTTP connection requests, the CPE can send an IQ stanza with the appropriate error type element. If the XMPP connection request cannot be authenticated, the CPE uses the not authorized error code. If you have any questions about Tier 69 or CD Router, be sure to check out our collection of training and testing guides at www.qacafe.com university.